and welcome to this Kalefi video where today we're going to talk about the 149 series hookup kit with 80mm centres. In any new fan coil installation there's a lot of pre-work that needs to be carried out to ensure the efficiency of the system. This includes flushing through the horizontal mains, flushing through the mains floor by floor, flushing through the entire system and a two-stage flush through the terminal unit including forward flush and backward flush to drain. Steps 1, 2 and 3 are carried out using the bypass unit Step four is carried out flushing to drain. To enable us to achieve the correct outcome, we must use the following components. Two shutoff valves to isolate the terminal unit. One shutoff valve to control the bypass line. One wire pattern strainer to prevent dirt from entering the terminal unit. One balancing valve to control the flow rate inside the terminal unit. And a zone valve for the remote control. All of these connections together mean that we have 20 hydraulic connections in the unit. This means a greater space for installation, but also a longer time for the installer. Once this process is complete, we have to regulate the flow for each terminal unit. This is achieved by selecting the correct valve set point on the PICV. Due to the complex functions and requirements, we must use a series of different components to enable us to achieve the correct outcome. To simplify the life of the installer, it's possible to use a connection regulation kit for HVAC terminal units. This kit contains all of the necessary components for the commissioning and maintenance of HVA systems. The unit comes fully insulated and ready for installation. Let's now talk about the features and components of the hookup kit. Here we have the shutoff valves for isolation of the terminal unit. The shutoff valve for control of the bypass line, an integral built strainer to prevent any dirt from entering the unit, a venturi profile for flow rate control within the terminal unit, one balancing valve to regulate the flow rate, and the control zone valve to regulate remote control. There is also the possibility to install actuators to the PICV. This allows remote control via the building management system. These include 0 10 volt linear actuator or 24 or 230 volt on-off actuator. We will now talk about the functions of the three-way valves. We can now bypass the terminal unit for initial flushing or to maintain circulation during the maintenance, complete shutoff for maintenance, or stand and function of the unit. Inside inlet shutoff valves, there is a strainer for unit protection. Using the Flowmatic PICV, it is possible to set the maximum flow rate required for the terminal unit. This is achieved by unscrewing the plastic cap. This then gains access to the adjustment knob. This is adjusted using a hexagonal spanner. There is a scale from two to 10 on top of the valve. Each number indicates the desired flow rate through the terminal unit. Using the adjustment scale for indication, we can now set the desired flow rate through the PICV. Each number on the scale adjustment relates to a presetable flow rate. The valve will modulate to control the delta P. The valve controls delta P to ensure the flow rate remains constant at the preset value, regardless of change in system conditions. Also, using the actuator, the valve can adjust the flow rate depending on the system demands. Using the two pressure ports on the PICV body, there is a possibility to connect a measuring device. This passage is important to make sure we have the correct differential pressure to guarantee the PICV functioning. Using the Venturi profile, it is possible to check the flow rate through the unit. Venturi profile has a fixed KV. Because of this, with the help of the measuring station, it is possible to measure the total flow rate and its set desired value. Finally, we'll talk about the strainer in the unit. To remove the strainer, we need to ensure that both of the isolation valves are in the closed position. We take our spanner, where we loosen the hexagonal nut. The strainer can then be easily removed and taken away to drain or taken away to clean. To reinstall the strainer, ensure that the slots line up within the body, reinsert and tighten the unit, ensuring that the unit is tight to prevent any leakages.
Thank you for watching this video on the 149 series hookup kit. I hope you found it interesting. For more information, visit our website at www.kalefi.com or visit our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.